the third and final demo for my Java 1 Birds of a Feather session on Java Developer Intro to Environment Management with Vagrant, Puppet and Docker. Two other videos describe the earlier um, steps and demos for this session. First one shows the run stage, the second one looks at ship, and this one looks at the Docker build process. And more specifically, the demo demonstrates what might be the preferred way to build Docker containers using a combination of the Docker file based standard Docker container build process complemented with a Puppet based configuration management uh, step for the more refined, more advanced configuration of the container. And in the demo you're about to see, you will first generate a simple base container um, run from the Ubuntu base image. And this base container will be uh, Puppet enabled during the initial build stage. And secondly, we will go into the base container, which apart from Puppet has nothing set up. And then we will use Puppet to apply manifests and make use of predefined modules to perform more advanced environment configuration, something that the Docker file is not optimally equipped for. One interesting step during this uh, Puppet execution is the download of source code from GitHub. And this code is used during the configuration of the environment. Let's go to the Windows file system and briefly check out the folder that's called share with docker host. This folder is mapped using Vagrant to the docker, uh, docker host Linux virtual machine. And inside it we find the docker file. This docker file, which resides on the Windows machine, is available from a folder mapped to the docker host. And we will soon go into the docker host, build the container using this docker file. When we open the docker file, we'll find that the base image is Ubuntu 14.04. And a number of steps are performed. The most important steps are over here, where support for Puppet is added to the docker container. So basically we are creating uh, a simple Ubuntu container with Puppet support. And that's about all that's going on. We go to the docker host and we go to the directory host share we'll see exactly the same directories we just saw on the windows file system um, and that's because this uh, and this directory build puppet is actually mapped to the build puppet directory on windows and when we take a look at the files over here we'll find the same docker file we saw before and we also find the Puppet directory with inside it the manifests. Let's take a look at the manifest we find here. And you will see that a number of Puppet configurations have been defined that will create a group called Oracle, a user called Oracle, that will create an Oracle user Oracle's home directory. Um, that will create a number of, di um, of directories. You see them listed here. It will also create a file, hello world.txt, and the contents of the file shown here, hello world. And here it will download a repository from GitHub. In this case, it's the Git jokes repository. And of course, we can't do without it. Okay. Let's go to the Docker host. And on the Docker host, let's start to build this container. We always perform the build from within the directory that contains the Docker file. Or at least we have to provide reference to the uh, directory. In this case, I'll just go to the directory with the docker file docker build dot 
And here we see the process. It's fairly quick. It creates the container. It creates a directory. It runs the steps to install Puppet into the container. And finally, it adds all the resources from the Windows directory, sorry, from the Docker host directory slash Puppet to the U01 Puppet directory inside the container. And here we have the identifier for the container. As a next step, we can now go into the container and continue with the Puppet build. So let's do that. Here we go, we are inside the docker container and the question is, did we indeed get the puppet manifest files copied into the container? So we can then run puppet inside the container. And here they are, and the base.pp file. Okay, so everything is available. Let's now apply the puppet. Manifest. There we go. We run the manifest and now we wait for Puppet to perform its thing. And as part of its thing, it should create a number of directories. It should create the file hello world.txt and it should bring in from GitHub the jokes repository. And like I said, these are pretty simple examples of what Puppet can do, but it can be uh, used for far more complex configuration uh, of environments. Now, this is taking a little bit longer than normally would be the case, probably because of the network situation in my hotel room. And even though it's better than I had during the presentation at Java 1 facilities, it's still not optimal. It would be nice for it to come back now. Still working on it. And it took a while, but there we go. I see an overview of all the steps taken by Puppet. And the last few steps created the file and cloned uh, the repository from GitHub. So we now take a look at the directory u01 slash app that was created by Puppet. And inside this directory is the file hello world.txt content of the file hello world exclamation mark and we also should have our jokes hanging around let me check where the jokes go and there we go here are all the jokes of course the jokes themselves are not important at all fact is during a fairly complex build flow which is completely automated we first did the basic docker build using some of the things docker is good at such as bringing in the base image and subsequently we used puppet to do configuration management in a declarative way uh, not using and relying on shell scripts so the proposed workflow with building docker containers is shown in this particular uh, overview now, for me, it's really time for bed. Um, I hope by creating these three videos, I've made up to the audience for the demos that didn't work. I apologize once more. Thank you.